Well, Brussels is a small city to a kind of a province city, but uh, that's only the surface. Brussels is the second biggest capital of industry lobbying in the world and catching up quickly. My job is I'm not going to be pretending that I'm going to change the world tomorrow. I'm a facilitator. Lobbying is uh, always uh, understood as a, a bit of a dirty word. There was an influential lobby group behind this, the ERT. The ERT represents the first time that multinational firms organized purposefully and politically at the European level to try to influence European policy. Every six months there was an EU summit, and every six months the ERT met, just a few days before. Left behind was a clear message to the following EU summit on the heads of governments. The question is, how many of the MEPs are defending the interests of the people and how many are defending the interests of big business? We don't know how much is being spent on lobbying, by whom and on which issues. When is a lawyer a lawyer and when is a lawyer a lobbyist? In democracy it's one person, one vote, but in the Brussels business it's one euro, one vote. I'm just doing my job. If you think that we are so corruptible and so corrupting, don't you want to know who we are and who's paying for us and what it is we're trying to get you to do for us?